As the country tries to come to terms with the government's surprise demonetization drive today, the Supreme Court interestingly heard a bunch of PILs that actually sought a ban on that move. The Apex Court on its part refused to intervene. Ashmit Kumar, our legal correspondent who's been tracking the case, had filed this report on the observations made by the Supreme Court and why they did not stay the government's uh, move. Take a look. Right, so the big takeaway, the Apex Court not seeing it fit to intervene at this stage as far as the demonetization scheme is concerned. It's important it was hearing four PILs filed against the demonetization scheme and leading the charge for the petitioners was none other than senior, uh, senior Congress leader Kapil Sibyl. Now he began by arguing that this is not a surgical strike as made out to be by the government but rather a carpet bombing of the poor. He went on to argue that similar exercises went undertaken in the past, uh, citing instances of 1956 as well as 1978. He argued that in both these cases, uh, such a move by the government was preceded either by an ordinance or by an act, which Kapil Sibyl pointed out was missing this time. He also he argued that in this time what we find is that such an exercise has been undertaken after a gazetted notification was passed under the RBI Act which, as per Kapil Sibyl, does not have the force of law, does not have the weight of law, and hence the government's move at this point cannot be allowed to move forward. That was, of course, Kapil Sibyl's contention, which was fiercely refuted by none other than the Attorney General himself, Mukul Rahadgi. He argued that there will be a certain amount of pain involved, there will be certain damage caused, which will be collateral in nature, but that this is an urgent exercise in the government's battle against black money. He also argued that enough measures are being uh, taken by the government. He argued that already over 55,000 crores of fresh currency notes have been pumped into the system. He also went on to argue that various concerns have sought to be, uh, be addressed by various notifications, six to be specific, at the same time arguing that the government has to be conservative in terms of allowing for exemptions to ensure that the system is not abused. Now, hearing both the sides, we understand that the Apex Court has not seen it fit to intervene at this stage, but nonetheless has sought clarity from the government on the road forward, as well as on measures being deployed to ensure that the inconvenience is brought down to a minimum. We understand that the hearing in this case will resume on November 25th. Back to you.